Ladies' Day at Epsom. And I leave it to you to pick out the ladies. The day before yesterday was the roar of the derby. Yesterday it was the howl of the gale. And look what the gale has done to the St. Dunstan stand. Once again, their majesties honor Epsom with their presence. And on Ladies' Day, it's fitting that our first lady should lead the distinguished guests along the course, walking with Lord Rosebery. Only 14 starters for the big race, and the favorite is Sir Hugo Cunliffe Owens Rockfell. In fact, taken all round, it's Rockfell's day. At the start, Rockfell is third from this side, and they're away first time, with only Solar Flower slightly behind. And now come with our camera to the top of the 100-foot tower in the center of the course. In this amazing follow shot, Matthew Gazette brings you a better view of the entire race than any spectator on the downs or in the stands. Rockfell is nearest the rail, fighting it out with Quadafu and Ratu. And as they drive up the hill, watch Rockfell draw away. Down the hill and round the big bend, it's still Rockfell. And here's the unusual back view of Tattenham Corner, with Rockfell holding off the challenge of Radiant and Solar Flower, and romping up the straight and easy winner. Radiant is second and Solar Flower third, and that's the finishing order as Rockfell passes the post four lengths ahead. Number six was the winner of the Derby, and it's number six again. And they say odd numbers are lucky. And if you're interested in figures, you may like to know that over the same distance, it took Boiroussel nearly two seconds longer to win the Derby than Rockfell to win the Oaks. 